Hello, uh, I'm uh, Fred Dickinson. I teach modern Japanese history at the University of Pennsylvania, and I'm going to be your faculty host for this wonderful Insider's Tour of Japan. I'm very excited um, because Japan is my favorite place. Um, among other things, because I was born in Japan, grew up in Japan, uh, met and married my wife in Japan. Our first, uh, our son is born in Japan, but of course, Japan is um, you know very uh, well known for many things. It's got great cities, it's got great uh, rural areas, it's got mountains, it's got lakes. Uh, it's super modern and it's also traditional at the same time, and we're going to see a little bit of all of that. Uh, for those of you who have never been to Japan, you're going to be wowed by all the modern conveniences like the bullet train. Uh, you're going to uh, love uh, also the great cultural capital such as Todaiji, the wonderful temple uh, in Nara that we're going to uh, see uh, originally from the 8th century, but this uh, current version is from the 18th century. Uh, if you have already been to Japan, you're going to uh, invariably find something new. Last time I was in Japan just a few weeks ago in, in March, uh, delighted to discover a new brew pub in uh, Tokyo uh, serving my favorite Japanese craft brew, Hitachino. If you have time, I'll take you there. Um, and there's always something new to see in Japan's convenience stores, believe it or not. A, a new products, seasonal products at 7-Eleven. Uh, and anyway, it's going to be a wonderful uh, time of discovery during a wonderful month uh, of May. Uh, we've got a great, great staff uh, and very much looking forward to uh, joining you on this venture. Uh, see you very soon.